I just dropped my coffee. <coughs> oh, my voice. Ooh. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video it is going to be all about skin it's going to be very natural I do use a lot of products but let's just pretend I don't do that um, I think it's going to be a very simple video it's kind of like um, what I do during summer I'm not gonna use foundation I'm not really a fan of foundation when it's like hot outside I like my skin to breathe even though I'm layering products but that's fine anyway if you want to see how I achieved this look then please keep on watching okay guys so normally I would start off with doing my eyes but since it's going to be a very simple eye look I'm going to start off with my face I already have moisturizer on eye cream all that good stuff so we're gonna go straight in with a primer um the primer I'm using is my favorite of all time I just got a new one this is the Becca Backlight priming filter and I'm going to apply this on my entire face and if you want to have like this very glowy look. This primer is everything. Do you see that? This is so freaking pretty. I would just wear this primer on its own during summer with no product whatsoever just to give me that glow because it is bomb. I do gotta warn you that if I'm going for a no makeup makeup look. I do use a lot of products on my face like primer, some oil, some liquid highlighter and that's just because I really want my skin to be flawless. I want to have that glass skin kind of look so it requires a lot of product but of course you don't have to use everything I use but just find a way that works for you. Okay and of course I am going to use the Benefit Professional. You all know that there is no makeup look without me using this primer because it just fills in your pores. It is such a good product. Then I'm taking a little bit of the MAC Essential Oils, the stick form, and I am forming the product on the back of my hand. And I like to apply this on my cheekbone area. It just gives your skin that dewy, and glowy look and I like that and of course you can also use a normal oil like liquid um, but I like to use a stick because it's a bit more tacky a bit more sticky and I think it looks better when I apply my second layer next is some glam glow glow setter And for my second layer, I'm going to use a MAC Next to Nothing face color, which looks like a foundation, but it's not a foundation. It is a face color. It's like a illuminator, like a filter on your face. Very, very natural. So if you're looking for a product that is just going to make your skin look like a filter, I guess, and makes it glowy, but you don't want to have foundation on your skin. You don't want to have something on your skin that feels heavy. Try this one out. I like it. If you're applying this product, please be careful and try not to go over with a uh, dual fiber brush, but use a sponge and just dab it onto your skin. Because if you go like this, it's not going to work. Um, it's not going to look pretty. Oh, and by the way, I am in the shade medium dark and I'm using a beauty blender to apply it. Do you see it's not giving that much coverage? It's just a filter on your face and I like this. And if you need more coverage, please apply your own foundation and you can also use this on top of your foundation. It's gonna give you that very nice glow, but I'm gonna keep it like this because I want to. And no matter how natural the makeup look will be, of course we need concealer. And I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, this one, and I am in the shade Medium 2 in Ginger. And I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and also on my eyelids. Applying concealer is one of my favorite things to do because it makes such a big difference. I love it. And I think I'm not the only one. And to set it, I am using the Kat Von D translucent powder. And I'm just setting like right underneath my eyes and my eyelids. 
Of course, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter. Well, it's more of a illuminator. It's the one by Smashbox. Normally, I like that blinding highlight, but since my face is going to be very natural, I just want to have that glow, that glass skin, and I'm going to use this product because it's very pretty, but it's not too much. Do you see what I mean? Of course, we need to bronze the face a little bit. I'm going to use the Cream Contour Stick by Fenty Beauty in the shade Truffle, and I'm just gonna use a little bit. And I know most of the time when you wanna have like that bronze summer, you know, makeup, makeup look, people tend to use a powder. To me, I think a cream looks much more natural because it blends into your skin. It is not a matte finish whatsoever, so it's kind of a natural shadow. Just don't use too much. So that's what I'm gonna do. Just, and a little bit on my forehead. And you can always go over it with some powder if you want to, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to use this Real Techniques foundation brush, I believe, to blend it all out. Going over it with the Beauty Blender again, just to make sure that everything is blended out and I'm done. Of course, some powder highlight, and I am using So Hollywood by Anastasia and a no brand fan brush. Okay, so what I like to do is, um, I already have my bronzer, but then the cream product on my cheeks, on my forehead. And what I like to do is bring that same shade back into my eyes. I don't like to go in with cream on my eyelids, but I'm gonna use another bronzer. This is Refined Golden by MAC. It is a shimmery bronzer, which I'm going to use in my crease. And I don't really know how to explain this, but I like it when the bronzer is everywhere. So not just on the outside of the face, but also on the eyes, so it's like all one. So I'm not gonna apply anything on my eyelids, but I'm due, but I'm due, I'm not due. But I am going to highlight my brow bone with the So Hollywood highlighter. Alrighty, time for lashes. And these are from the drugstore. I've already used them, uh, but I don't remember the brand or the name, but I will find out and I will link it down below. Alrighty, so the lashes are on. I am quickly going to apply a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, applying some highlighter on the inner corner of my eye. And that's it for the eyes. But when I look at my face, I do think that I need a little bit of bronzer. So I'm going to take my big brush and That's much better. My beloved iconic London Prep Set and Glow Mist. It's gorgeous, you just gotta shake it well and I'm going to spray this on my entire face before I do my lips. And then for lips, I'm going to take this LA Girl Glazed Lip Gloss Lip Paint. Super intense color, extra glossy finish. Um, this is a very, very intense lip gloss, so I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, like this. And then just going like... I just want my lips to have a little bit of color, but not like a bright red. And I don't want to have a nude shade. I actually want my lips to be stained. Taking my MAC Clear Lip Gloss and my finger again. And guess what? We are done with the video. So yeah, guys, that was my natural go-to summer glowy glass skin. What else can I think of to say? Makeup look. Now, this is just uh, what I like to do. I know there are a lot of products that I use, but it's just my preference because 
I do believe in layering products to get that, you know, nice result to have skin like this. And of course, I do take very, very good care of my skin. Um, I do have a new skincare routine. So if you want to see that, please let me know in the comments down below and I will tell you everything I use for my face which is, again, a lot. But yeah, this is what I do. This is how I like it. I think it's a very simple look. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I hope this was helpful. If you have questions, you know, there is a comment section below. Let me know and I will get back to you. I wanna thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon.